So I wanted to hit on a few reasons as to why some older iPhones may actually end up being better overall than some of the newer iPhones, like the iPhone 15, for example. Now, for some of you who don't know, with an iPhone like an iPhone 15, these devices, because they're brand new, are going to experience some newer problems that some older iPhones probably have already gone through. Now, what I mean by this is, if you take a look at the latest iPhone generation, there were lots of reports of battery overheating, somewhat poor battery life, different issues like that. When you have an iPhone, let's say like an iPhone you know, 14 or iPhone 13, because these iPhones are significantly older, they've already gone through those issues. They've already gone through their you know, fair share of problems on a, you know, a pretty large scale. So because of that, you can just go ahead and buy an iPhone that's probably going to be giving you a more stable experience, at least for the next couple of weeks or next couple of months, rather than buying something like you know an iPhone 15. I know it's kind of weird to think about things like that, but if you wanted to get an iPhone that was probably going to be giving you a more stable experience, at least in the short term, getting an iPhone like an iPhone 14 or iPhone 13 might actually be end up giving you an overall better experience. Another thing that kind of, you know, to keep in mind, this is kind of the more obvious one, is that if you're actually going through and buying the latest iPhone, you are probably spending way more money than you need to buying the latest generation. I've always felt like, as I've stated before, buying, you know, last year's generation of iPhones, even the last year's, you know, base model iPhones are very good. And those are probably going to be giving you overall better experiences in some ways, value per dollar than going for something like the iPhone 15. That was just another thing that kind of stood out to me too. And although, like I said before, it wouldn't be the main reason why I'd go and, you know, upgrade. It's just another thing that if you wanted to get an iPhone that is probably going to be giving you a cheaper experience, but still giving you a very good experience, you can't really go wrong with buying like last year's generation of iPhones or like different devices like that. So that's always been another thing to kind of keep in mind as well. On top of that, another reason why I think some of these older iPhones may end up being better than some of these newer ones probably comes down to, as I've stated before, with the community and the amount of features going on with some of these older devices. Now, depending on how far you want to go back, there are sometimes modding capabilities and jailbreaks and different things like that that are available for older iPhones. Now, there hasn't been an actual like really good jailbreak in a little bit of time, I'm not going to lie. But still, if you wanted to have that type of capability, you do have somewhat sort of more flexibility in that standpoint with an older iPhone or last generation iPhone, or rather than going for like the latest and greatest like with the iPhone 15s. So also, you can always wait a couple weeks or months and then buy an iPhone 15 in the used market and save a little bit of money that way. That's always is another thing you can do as well. So those are just a few things to kind of keep in mind with these particular devices. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.